chef Erica Wides. You're from New York City. She's an outstanding chef, food writer, and culinary director at the Rosemary and Vine. I'm also the host of a radio show. Hello, I'm Erica Wise, the host of Let's Get Real. I'm here to tell you about the difference between food and foodiness. Take a look at this picture. Here's a picture of when we first bought the fries. You know, those are fries that are engineered for longevity. Have you ever, like, you know, cleaned out the back seat of your car and found a fry back there that was maybe three or four weeks old. You know, maybe your kids <laughs> dropped it. And, of course. You know, maybe when no one's looking, you actually ate it, and it was still okay. Yeah. You know, we... <laughs> okay, so today we're making a cauliflower risotto. Okay. I hate doing this, but that's what it is. But There's no not... rice in it. It's okay. just cauliflower that okay. we chop up. So you can see I chopped this cauliflower up really, really small. It's like little crumbs. Okay. You know, my... Uh, my old Jewish Irish grandmother used to make this. Did she really? Okay. <laughs> I'm okay. kidding. I'm about as Irish as you are, probably. <laughs> well, you know the summer. It's almost summer. It's time to start grilling. It's National Picnic Day. You want things that you can take with you that are light, fresh, easy. So there's no water or milk in that? No, because the cucumbers are so. It's just like magic. Try some. Anna. Mm, cheers, guys. Cheers. Mm. I wanted in for myself. One. Actually, I was skeptical. This, this is, is delicious. Yeah, awesome. It's awesome. I know. It's so good. It's golden. I love frog's legs. That's great. Warren's got a big chip on his shoulder shaped like Staten Island. It's that time of year we're talking exactly. a lot about Look corn, we're having a lot of corn. Shave it right off. But of not there. everybody wants to be sitting there and chewing it right off the cup. Yeah. You know? Sometimes that can be a little bit yeah, harder. You don't want to sit there at the party no. picking the corn out that, of your teeth, right? And then there's that. Yeah, yeah that too. <laughs> right? Works great for tomatoes, cuts really cleanly, like through a tomato. You Look know, how nice and thin you can get these too. So. Oh yeah. Look at that, right? Just like sushi chef style. The U.S., which has 5% of the world's adult population, now also has one-third of the world's excess weight. In other words, we're fat. We know that. That's old news. Look around. But we're becoming, well, I know that real food is super inconvenient, but so is heart disease, diabetes, obesity, cancer, and early death. So maybe it's worth the effort. Food has basically become like a hobby or a fetish. It's basically become just another utility like gas or electric or a regular booty call. We don't want to know what's in it or where it came from. We just want it when we need it. And then for it to just go away and let us get some sleep. Regular milk is full of hormones used by the dairy industry to keep the cows pregnant and lactating all year round. Sound gross? It is. So when you drink non-organic milk, you take a shot of hormones with every sip. So just remember this, non-organic milk equals gonads gone wild.